Good afternoon. My name is Anders Carlsson and I am the CEO of IREN uh, since two months back. Uh, my background is pharma, uh, medtech and biotech. Uh, I have the before coming here being at Allenex as a CEO, uh, there being responsible for uh, as a CEO, and then we made a, sold the company to uh, CaryX Inc., a US-based company listed on NASDAQ. Uh, and there I was responsible for the integration as well as the global business in that organization. My background uh, has been transplantation and also uh, immunotherapy. Uh, and we have seen a lot of things that can be improved, even if I've done a lot there before. And there is a niche for IDN. Uh, there is still unwanted, unsolved problem out there. Uh, when we have an activated, unwanted activation of system, system activation of the immune system. It is anti-drug antibodies where the immune system attacks the biological treatments. It can be the transplant rejections where you treat the immunosuppressive treatment the whole life. And autoimmune diseases. And what if you can turn this unwanted effect off. The dendritic cells play a key role within the immune system. It decides between friend or foe, wanted or unwanted. Here you see the system uh, activating on the right hand side uh, and when you have enemy in the bodies virus and bacteria, which activates the effect of T cells, the fighters. But if this is activating towards the pharmaceuticals and transplants, then we have a problem. The IDN solution is to reprogram the immune response. And uh, here you see the, uh, the dendritic cells uh, being activated in fighting mode towards pharmaceuticals and transplants. But if we can reprogram that, we will then prevent the undesired activation and also maintain the defense against other threats such as virus and bacteria and cancers. Our treatment is unique. Uh, it's, un it's unique for the every patient. We take it out, we take the cells out from the patients and process them outside the body. We introduce them for antigens, for, for example, the pharmaceuticals and the organ. We, we uh, add uh, a unique setting of different um, substances, and we create a tolerance inducers, a mix of different uh, uh, components, which you can call the IDN uh, cocktail. And then we create the transgenic dendritic cells. So you actually take the cells out from the body. You, you, you train the immature dendritic cells to be tolerogenic dendritic cells and also to become the peacemakers of the treatment. Uh, Long-term effect is anticipated, but I will take you through this, this uh, how it looks like for the patient. You start with leukophoresis at the local hospital. You take the cells, send it to IREN, and we make the IREN cell therapy, as I explained on the other side. Uh, the treatment is sent back to the hospital. You treat the patient for bi-weekly for three to four times, and then we anticipate the long-term effect of the treatment. Our prioritized indications, we start with hemophilia A, kidney transplantation, and define other future opportunities is IDOAD, autoimmune diseases, and other indications. For hemophilia A, the genetic deficiency is, is in the clotting factor 8, and the treatment factor 8 is the standard treatment. We create a treatment towards the antibodies that attack the, uh, the, the ADAs, created for uh, uh, factor 8 treatment. In kidney transplantation, we instead take the cells from the donor and pre-treat them with our trolleyanic inducer in the recipient. So you pre-treat them before you make the transplantation. Uh, we have a screening program 
based on the long experience within IDN for this in this area. Uh, and we have a unique program where we select the compounds and we take them through three different steps with the increasing level of complexity. Uh, last year, in late stage of December, we find that we added the second, the third step, also to see if we was able to induce the regulatory T cells. We was not able to, to do that with the current candidate, Sebularin. So we had to stop the development of that product and also restart the development and make it one more time and do it better. We was able to develop a new tolerant user, and we are now in a setting where we was able, with a combination of three to four different substances, we delivered positive results in June 2019. Um, and here, we are now in the process to patent this compound, and we are in a very close uh, future able to send it in. And we will then have a new patent covering 20 years from now. Uh, execution of, on our clinical strategy. We have an in vitro validation of our tolygenic cell therapy. We start with hemophilia A, and we are now in the preclinical phase, and we are setting up all the things that is needed to move as fast as possible into clinical study. Uh, next year, we will optimize for GMP production. Uh, we will also make the production or prepare for the production for clinical study material and set up for clinical trials. End 2020, the plan is to have um, clinical trial applications sent in to authorities and after that to roll out the clinical trial for hemophilia. We have an external validation we received in 2017, 2.9 million euro in uh, European Commission funding. We have still 1.4 million to go, and we accept that everything will be paid out in line with that. We are a proud member of CAMP. Uh, together with the big pharma companies, we are there together with a few smaller companies, and it's supported with Vinova with 48 million. We have a management team, which has been there for a long time. There's a lot of experience within this group. And we also have a very experienced board of directors. In general management, we have the co-founder, Leif Salford, professor in neurosurgery at the University of Lund. We have Karin Hagendorn, with more than 20 years of experience within cell therapy development. And we also have Christina Herder, uh, with more than 20 years of experience in business development in the pharma industry. Saying that, we perceived that the future is bright. We at IDN also belongs, f uh, think that the future belongs to cell therapy. IDN has a novel, innovative, and validated cell therapy technology. We have an efficient tolerance inducer that has been developed. Uh, we, address, we are addressing unmet clinical needs, opening up for attractive reimbursement models. And IDN is moving towards clinical trial readiness with IDO8, our first indication. And we assume that uh, we happen with the first clinical application in end 2020 and thereafter following clinical trials in line with plans. Thank you. <laughs>